Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of TKWF. Now we have some questions after last week. Who is the masked man that assailed our tag team champion? What, what's happening? Who will be our new mayhem champion tonight? Questions that we will find out the answers to very soon. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Flyboy is demanding to know who attacked TK Landon last week, and we all want to know too. But apparently, Flyboy will be investigating himself since he feels our general manager doesn't want to do it. But for now, one of our other questions that we need answered is who is our new Mayhem champion going to be? Now, if you saw last week, our Mayhem Championship was cashed in by Jet the Ninja to challenge Brutus the Brawler. Brutus the Brawler um, made short work of Jet the Ninja. And poor Jet the Ninja is recovering this week, so we will not see him in action here tonight. Um, speaking of being out of action, I have a medical update on TK Landon. Um, he will be medically cleared to compete in two weeks time so he didn't take a lot of damage but he took a he had a has a bru bruised rib cage from being thrown off that platform into the into the table with those chairs underneath that was a, a brutal fall um it could have been a lot worse had of he been thrown off the top of that ladder that he was baited up to but um Again, we still don't know who the who the assailant is, and that is something that Flyboy Jack Storm is trying to find out himself. But for now, our main focus is the TKWF show, and as long as that master assailant does not show his face here tonight, that's all that we care about. And here is our first competitor, Andrews. Challenging for the Mayhem Championship. Now this match, at the request of Andrews and Elijah Lee, is just a sim simple one-on-one -on -one match. Now the Mayhem Championship does not always have to be defended in, you know, a spe speciality type of match. It doesn't always have to have a special stipulation. Usually it does, but when both superstars agree and they just want to defend the title in a singles match that's more than allowed now again the rules to the mayhem championship um the champion must defend it two times a month every single month as well as once at the pay-per-view which happens every four weeks however they are able to cash in the title whenever they choose. And if they so choose, they can cash it in the week that they win it. Um, but the Mayhem Championship is on the line here tonight against these new two new people. As the title was vacated last week when Jet the Ninja cashed in in a failing attempt to challenge Brutus the Brawler. I mean, he put up a, a valiant effort. I will give him that. However, it was not meant to be when... Um, it was not meant to be because <laughs> Brutus the Brawler is one deadly superstar and it's gonna be interesting to see who will be able to reap the world championship from his hands as he's taken on some of our toppest competition already and has already taken down some big names one of those names is in this match Elijah Lee 
coming into this match trying to win the mayhem championship maybe looking to cash that mayhem championship in once again to claim um to claim the world championship title match that he feels he deserves you know we got some word from elijah before the match and he said the steel cage match was not his proudest moment but the mayhem championship will be one step closer to versing brutus in a match again he said he intends to make the mayhem championship mean something rather than just a cash in whenever it's won so he defends he plans to defend the championship for a long time before he challenges brutus for the mayhem championship now we did try to get word from andrews but he used some expletives that i am not allowed to use on live television and um told our reporter to in nicer terms go away um so we did not get any word from him in this match but elijah lee with a nice suplex combo there and a nice splash off the top rope but the rope break saves andrews now and oh the slam in the corner throws him down and elijah lee oh my god the athleticism from elijah lee there and he's got a nice chin lock there but putting pressure on the back so he's getting hurt in two separate locations there could we see a tap from andrews no andrews kicks out very easily oh a nice suplex there from andrews and now andrews on the offensive once again locked in his own finisher but did not oh just managed to clip him with that elbow very just but it was enough to stop elijah from getting up and put andrews back in this match and oh what a cheap shot from andrews there and here we go with the cover one two three oh that was so close that was almost a three count even andrews can't believe it he's like i had that at three but elijah fighting back now andrews cannot believe it i'm sure we're gonna hear about that from andrews later on a nice ankle slam there from elijah lee for lack of a better word that's what it was <laughs> But Andrews back on the offensive once again. And oh what a move from Andrews. Will that be enough to put him down? It might be, but Andrews. Oh, well he he could have put Elijah down, but he decided to keep pressing on. Now Elijah fighting back now. And another angle slam. And the rope break once again, saving Andrews. These two aren't very good with putting their opponents away in this match. One is just getting too overzealous and using too too many moves to try to put his opponent down. The other's not keeping an eye on where the ropes is. Another angle slam from Elijah Lee. And one, two, three. Elijah Lee is our new Mayhem champion. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there he is, your new Mayhem Champion. Elijah's saying, handshake, once again, show of respect from our super... Well, ladies and gentlemen, Flyboy is now looking around backstage looking for this masked assailant.
will he manage to find out who it is? I'm sure we'll find out, but for now, we have our next match. The following contest is scheduled this man right here has thrown an open challenge down to anyone in the roster. Another man who could not manage to beat the other three men in that steel cage match for the World Heavyweight Championship. But he did put on a valiant effort and he almost managed to pull off the victory. However, it was stolen from him at the last second. It'll be interesting to see who accepts his open challenge. And oh my god. We know who's accepting his challenge now, ladies and gentlemen. It is Zach Murphy. Now, Zach Murphy put on one hell of a competition in the Mayhem match at TKWF Revival. Almost winning the championship from Jeff, Jet the Ninja. Just coming seconds away from putting him away. And now he's deciding to accept the open challenge from Richie Rose. A victory over Richie here would be a huge step in the right direction for Zach Murphy here in the TKWF. Now Zach Murphy already with the upper hand in this match. Deciding to use his speed advantage over Richie Rose. Doesn't really have too much of a size advantage. He does have a little bit. But Richie Rose now using his technician ability to try submit Zach Murphy here and a roll up kick to the face what a move from Zach Murphy now Richie Rose back on the offensive and Richie Rose now showing he's the better of the two. Well, at least he thinks he's the better of the two. Now Murphy back in the ring. Richie Rose still maintaining the upper hand so far in this match. But as I say that, oh, I was going to say, as I say that, Murphy starts to reverse. But Rose, back at it again. Oh, now what the hell is this? What the hell is this? That's... Well, that's Pal's music playing. Oh, and Pal, with the steel chair from behind just taking out Richie Rose could this be that Pal and Zach Murphy are working together oh well Richie Rose saw the jump coming from Zach Murphy now and then back on the offense seems Pal did not hit Richie enough with that chair. Or maybe he did. Zach Murphy's able to get the upper hand now. I'm I'm still at a loss for words. What could this possibly mean?
And now these two taking it to the outside of the ring. A nice stalling suplex here from Richie Rose. And oh! Murphy's feet landed on that steel. That has got to hurt. Oh, but he, he saw the second knee coming and was able to get out of the way. Oh my god. And it looked like Richie Rose hit the side of that steel with his head. That's already taken some damage from the chair shot. This is not looking good for Richie Rose now. Now Murphy bringing it back into the ring. And then coming back outside for Richie. He did not want this to end in a double count out. Or a count out at all for that matter. Now Richie starting to fight back. And now Murphy with the reverse, and Murphy's fighting back. And, oh, into the second turnbuckle now. Now these two have had a very back and forth match, even with Pal interfering on Zach Murphy's behalf now. Another question. This, this episode was meant to be answering questions, not asking more. Oh, and a nice move there from Murphy. Now Murphy going to the top rope now. Oh, Murphy missed that by a mile. I think Murphy maybe... Maybe have taken an ear shot somewhere. Lost control of his equilibrium there. And was unable to measure the distance between him and Richie or maybe he just got overconfident and felt like he would land it and oh my god the athleticism from Richie Rose now oh locking in the sharpshooter he's locked in a sharpshooter will we see Zach Murphy tap he's right next to the ropes grab the ropes Murphy Oh, he's starting to crawl to the ropes. Oh, he kicks out. The sharpshooter almost put Murphy away there. Oh, it looked like he was going for another one, but Murphy countered it this time. Now Murphy waiting for Richie to get up. What's he going for now? Oh, a nice pump handle fireman's carry. I don't know what he calls that move, but... Zach Murphy able to bring the victory over Richie Rose. Well, I'm at a loss for words. There's more questions now than there is answers. Are Powell and Murphy working together? Why did they decide to target Richie Rose of all people? And who the hell is this master assailant that Flyboy is targeting? Speaking of that, it sounds like we've got some news backstage. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are with the main event, but what did we just see backstage? I know the camera has only just picked up the, the audio there, but, you know, we, it sounded like the master sound, we couldn't hear it, it's very disordered, but it sounded like he said, bump in the road, the plan stays the course. What does that mean? Well, Andrews was talking to him about losing the Mayhem title match earlier. Do they... Are they in cahoots? Does Andrews know who the Master Sandlin is? Well, Flyboy has chased Andrews out of the arena. Um, and the Master Sandlin took off not long after seeing him. But for now, our focus is this main event. Here she is. 
the rock star herself. She is back. Now, you may not recognize Alice Lane from her last appearance. Um, not long after she ended her run in TKWF, she moved on to other feds, um, lost a hair versus hair match, and when her hair started growing back, she kept it short, dyed it pink, and became a whole new persona. And she's come back with a fiery vengeance. And here is the woman that beat the TKWF Women's World Champion last week. And that was one hell of a fight. Ivy Fisher showed uh, a state of her that we had never seen before. It seems like the entire Rebel Club have come in to TKWF Season 2 as a whole different beast. They've all come in with different attires, different attitudes, and different ways of winning their matches, apparently. But I've been told that this match will be... Um, the winner of this match will go on to face Ann Andrews in a couple of weeks for a number one contendership match for the Queen's Championship at the first pay-per-view. Make it or break it. So, there's a lot riding on the line more than just Alice Lane's return match here tonight. She could potentially be walking straight into a, a match, or a number one contendership match. In two, two matches, if she wins them both, she could be face-to-face -face with her old rival, the Queen Olivia Jade. And that's exactly what she said she planned to do in this thing and the rock star herself has got a lot to prove not only to the TKWF fans but to herself last we saw Alice Lane she was not the person she is now she's changed a lot over the years and surely she is here to help this new women's division along. And now Ivy Fisher just brutalizing Alice Lane. Now you may have noticed when Alice Lane made her entrance, her Twitter at is Lane, not Lana. Um, that is a throwback to her very first debut in TKWF, um, when the, um, when the, uh, editors decided to edit her name tag wrong, and it said Alice Lana, and she was not happy about that. She was also not happy that that scene was used in the announcement for TKWF Season 2 Revival. Though she was happy to be announced in that, um, she wasn't happy that that was the scene that they decided to use. And now Ivy Fisher. Oh, with that kick. That was the kick that put down the Queen Olivia Jade. Will it put down... Alice Lane, it was not enough to put Alice Lane down. Ivy Fisher can't believe it. Alice Lane with a big bruise on her face from that big kick and all the kicks that she's been taking in this match. And now she's locking in what I've been told is now called the Poison Ivy.
A nice cravat suplex there. And just see the face of Ivy Fisher completely bruised, as is Alice Lane's. These two women have put each other through hell for an opportunity just at a number one contendership match. Though they'd. Oh, a Superman punch! The Superman punch isn't enough. One, two, three. Oh, that was so close. Two and nine. That was. The 2.9 if ever I seen one. Oh, but the kick. And lock locks in the cover. One, two, three. Looks like Ivy Fisher and Ian Andrews will be challenging each other in the number one contendership match. Well what a match, ladies and gentlemen. But you gotta think. Ivy Fisher's already beat the Queen Olivia Jade once. Will she do it again in the t Will she be able to beat Ann Andrews and then do it again in a title match? Thanks for watching, guys. We will see you next week for another episode of TKWF.